we're going to do three stories at some length, and then we're going to do a fourth story if you have time. The page. Could everybody please turn the page? I can't see it. Story and say, once upon a time when tigers smoked pipes, that tells us we're in Korea. Because in Korea, that's the land where tigers smoke pipes. Tigers don't smoke pipes. But when we begin the story and say, once upon a time when tigers smoked pipes. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. When tigers. There was a village, five huts, five. How many? There was a village, five. Five. With gardens, five. Gardens, five. 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 And a big wall all around. Big, big wall all around. all around. One heavy gate. One heavy gate. One heavy gate. Yeah, outside of the big wall, <laughs> there were rice fields. There were what? Rice fields. Rice fields. Rice rice fields. Rice fields. And behind that was the jungle. The jungle. jungle. Inside. 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 A little puppy. A little puppy. <laughs> Doing what puppies did. <laughs> Goofy, right? Just... There was a hole in the gate, down in the tip. Oh, yes. <laughs> he stuck his head through, wiggled his body through, got his tail through. There. <laughs> It's a big world out here. <laughs> it's a big world out here. <laughs> then Puppy looked across the rice fields. He looked across the right rice. on the edge of the jungle. The puppy saw a little smoke. Oh, ah. a little smoke. The puppy saw across the rice fields two glowing eyes. <laughs> oh. Going uh. Oh. <laughs> Puppy saw a big smile with teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Puppy went. Uh. Uh. Puppy saw across the rice fields in the jungle a paw with a claw. With a claw. <laughs> Puppy saw paw claw. <laughs> wow, scary. Uh, uh, hi, tiger. Hi. Hi. Lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Lunch? Uh, gotta go. <laughs> Puppy went into the hole again. Tiger. <laughs> Puppy. Too late. <laughs> Look to this side. Too far. This side. Too far. Looked up. The wall. He sprung, he pulled his tail, he drew his nails, he dug in, he sprung. Oh. But the puppy already went through the hole. He jumped up again. Puppy. Puppy. Everybody, slow, so slow. slow. <laughs> Puppy. Oh, you 
just take a minute here. Oh, <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> yes, showman. From the rice field. They tied the legs and the claws. They tied the teeth together. They put a stick between the claws and the paws. Now we gotta pick it up. Shh. Help me. down to the river and got in a boat. They went across the river. They picked up the... Come on. across the river, went back into the village, closed the gate, picked up the puppy, and gave him lots of treats. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody lived happy ever after. <laughs> wow. Yeah. A lot of it is gesture. So now let me teach it to you, okay? You can say okay. Okay, okay. 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 So in the beginning, I'm just gonna set the scene, right? First of all, we have a tiger with a pipe and we call that Korea, right? Mm -hmm. Gesture, you can use whatever gesture you want. I just made that up. That's why it's right. <laughs> Go. <laughs> you can use your own gestures, I don't care, you know? Yeah. But I use that one. I'm just giving you stuff because time is short and we can't invent everything. Yeah. The pipe. There's a five village with sides. five huts. How many? Five. five. There's gardens. How many? Five. five. Now I'm doing that. Do that gesture and make sure that when you come forward, your hands are real close. If you, that looks really good because my hands are close. And then there's the big. Now, if it's, if it's a little gate, it's down here. If it's a big uh -huh. gate, it's up here. Oh. Looks a lot bigger, right? Mm -hmm. And it's actually the protection for the village. So we don't want to like, it's a little gate because they don't really care about anybody coming in. No, it's a big gate. They don't want anybody in there. Then there's a little puppy. I just made that up. I cut dialogue about what he's doing. He's biting on a shoe. He's doing like this. He just, mm -hmm. who cares? What's, what's important is he sees the hole in the big wall, right? I'm animating it, Dink. Dink. Now on my little bench, I just picked myself up with my legs mm -hmm. so I can move around. <laughs> right? Try it. Try it. <laughs> yeah. You're moving, right? You get more, more action. And then he's outside. My, it's a really big world. I back up because it's a big world. Then he sees across the rice paddy in the jungle. That's a repeating phrase, right? That's a repeating phrase. And I'm yeah. going to the side. He looks, there's a rice paddy, and then there's a jungle. And then we see different things. We see this, we see this. Then we mm -hmm. see a hand come up. When I do it right, I go, pause with claws. There's pause, a pause, pause, pause. 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 It's like, Ugh, those are paw with a claw. Pause, pause. 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 Strong. pause. Reach right out of the camera. <laughs> paw, claw. Pause. And I'm starting to grow bigger and closer until. <laughs> That's scary, isn't it? Yeah. 
I'm here. also backing up a little bit. Wow. Hi, Tiger. <laughs> That's just a movement from sitting back away from the camera to picking myself up and bending my hi lunch. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, gotta go. <laughs> And he went under the hole. I kind of show it, but I don't know how to do that, right? It's like, uh, don't, uh, who cares? And he went under the hole. And ah, 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 ah. Now I'm teaching them what's going to rephrase, right? It's going to reprise over and over and over. So if I can do it once clearly, maybe add more words this time. And he reached through the little hole, reaching for the dog. Ah, ah. Now I can't quite get all of me in. Reach, I don't want to do this because then you can't see the claw, right? And I can't go far enough over because uh, I've got this cord. Uh, <laughs> so I'm cheating. Uh, that's more powerful anyway. Uh, 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 but I got to still go over to this. Uh, 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 uh. No way, man. Tiger's got a dilemma. He wants that lunch. Uh, too far. Uh, too far. I don't know whether that would be better or not. The top of the wall. Hmm. You can tell them because you're going to have to keep doing this over and over. So you're down here. Your problem is how you're going to like jump up on top of something and go down. If that's more comfortable for you, you could go. Ah, ah, ha, 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 ha. You're trying to use your hands like a puppet, right? And your face is still there, so. And the little dog went under, right? Or you can do the option that I do, which is, because I'm more physical, I get down real close and I go slow motion. Let's try it with slow motion. To one side, to one side, to one side. Now look up to the wall where you're going to go and reach your hands up and make a big sound. Now, but look now, Steve, when you did that, your hands went like this. You went, ah! and then your belly button is not that communicative. So it's a fool because you're jumping up, but you also have to leave room for yourself to come onto it. You know what I mean? It's a trick. Ah! Little puppy, lunch, ah! and then I'm, I'm, I'm diving down and I drop. Yeah. He went underneath. <laughs> now I'm going to also challenge you because what we're ultimately going to do is go jump up, jump down, kind of fast and kind of strong. But then when he jumps back up, he's got to be kind of lazy. And then when he jumps down, or if you want to do a third time, you could. I don't know. I, I don't have it set. But he's got to get more tired, and that's what we got to see. So if he jumps, oh, oh, no, too far, oh, not too far. Oh, oh. So now I'm going to spring. Oh, yeah. Puppy! Oh, yeah. Ah! <laughs> The yelling part that my wife hates. And reach under. Get that star. That puppy. 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 Spring again. Puppy. Try it one more time. We're going to get real tired this time. Ready? Jump. But no, you don't quite get to the top. <laughs> Pulling yourself up like a like when you do you had pull ups in uh, in gym class and you couldn't quite get up there. <laughs> now you're close to the camera and just kind of go. Like, <laughs> make your face, you know, cheek. <laughs> do a little snarl. <laughs> <laughs> Puppy. If you don't care and don't do it fast, that's okay. <laughs> Puppy. <laughs> Now, when you reach through, be kind of half-hearted. 
Spring and coiled and jumped. I didn't go up very high. Uh oh. Puppy. I'm going going real slow now, right? Uh, wait a minute, Amir. I think I'll take a little rest. Now here's the wall, so I'm kind of. Now I'm gonna kind of get my angle around a little bit, and then I like the uh, the framing like this, so I can see the hands because I'm gonna eventually have them tied and put a stick through there, right? Mm -hmm. So I kind of <sighs> Other side of the room, farmers saw the sleeping tiger. Now you're gonna pretend. I just lift my, my body, I'm basically lifting my my, my uh, rib cage. You don't have to hurry. <laughs> Tied the paws. Tied the legs and the blahs. Tied the jaws with the teeth shut. Try that. Look at me. Look, look at the camera. And then make your eyes go left, right, left, right. They put a stick to hold the tiger. Now we're going to try. That's a chest thing, too. Your face. Right? You hardly move at all, but you're actually your face is. Come on, help me. Lift a little more. All right, good. Good try. We need more help. Be quiet. Come on. Now, part of getting participation from the kids through Zoom is to expect them to respond, right? If you're being wimpy about it, oh, please, children, will you help me to lift this? No. You got to sell it. <laughs> I need your help. Ready? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> now I'm moving to the side, right? Went to this, and I'm back at the other side because I can only go so far before I'm out of space. Doesn't work any good to tell the story over here. <laughs> so I got to go back. I'm on the other side of the frame for a boat. I'm watching the bottom of my frame so that it doesn't disappear. This is not a good boat. <laughs> this is a good boat because I can see it. Oh, it is. Right. We, I do a uh, swing your swing your body because the tiger claws they 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 uh, they go left and right, left and right, and jump. Yeah. Kids jump now. Perfect. That's okay. Perfect. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Sure. And then when they and jump up on the wall, is because kids do things fun and yeah. then pretty soon they get bored. Yeah, we only do it two or three times. Well, every time you do it, the the because I've seen that video, I've seen that video and it was good, but then I thought the part you could build on is getting tired. Yeah. Yeah. The tiger yes. can get tired yes. and he doesn't jump so well. He goes, and the kids will like that. Yeah. And that was what I was getting to. Instead of jumping the same way, jump differently each time you jump. Okay. And, you know, if it's fun, they'll do it for 30 jumps. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Your problem is it takes too much time. Right. Yeah. This is, this is golden for kids if you want them to pay attention. Because, you know, what do I do? I just listen to you for a while? It's like, yeah. Mm. yeah. I got to do something. How we got the cue from, from Jeff that we should imagine it as if we were seeing a movie. Because I think that all of these motions are easier 
if you just think of your hands really being on a wave. But when we think about it and come to digest it, we'll begin to visualize it. And I think it'll make what we're doing in the breakout rooms easier down, you know, down the room. You know, I wanted to share that instead of the boat going, I had, I had, I was rowing the boat oh, across the way. I do too. Yeah, mm. uh, that worked. When you position yourself and you're imagining, let's just say you're imagining being on that river, you can't just keep looking at the river. You have to look at your audience. Is that right? <laughs> it's very, it's powerful if I'm looking at you and then I go, and we went on a boat. Oh. And, and I've learned that characters, we, we have a, a, a kind of need to want to talk and talk, always look at the camera, but hey. Yeah? What are you doing down there? Uh, nothing. Well, aren't you supposed to be in the storytelling class? Yeah, but the guy's weird. <laughs> well, I, didn't, I didn't look at the camera at all. Right, gotcha. I, I, now you are witnessing two people talking. But when you're doing the boat, the boat could be like this, where you're seeing it. But it also could be, and they went across on the river. Okay. Oh, but the rowing is good, because you can get all the kids to row as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can also get them all to make their boats. No. Mm. Someone in our group had suggested maybe we could ask half the kids to be the tigers. So mm. that you know, we can set them up to be the tigers, get your claws right. out, get, your, get ready to leap. And the other have to be the, the puppy, you know, wiggles and run yeah. through the yeah. hole. Yeah, yeah, that's a good that's idea. Yeah. Any kind of move, you know, that's called kinesthetic learning. Uh, moving the body helps generate it in the brain. So it, this is not frivolous kids stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, it's effective for adults too. You can, you can uh, attest to that right now because we've just been moving our body and it's helping the dendrites to include new cut capacities. You can see that the tiger's tired. <laughs> Puppy. <laughs> you know, you can see him getting tired. So we're in on the joke, right? It's a higher level of, uh, other than language or a book that has to spell it out in words written on page that's flat. Your face is a lot more interesting and more dynamic than that. 